So here's a couple of my boats that I've made. I thought it might be fun to show how I make them in a video. I've never done this before. Hopefully it will work well. But just to show you a couple of my boats as an example of what I've done with model sailboats. This is a cat boat I made a long time ago. And there's a vintage marble head and a schooner. And I've made a bunch of other ones up here. And I just thought it would be cool to show how these boats are made. I'm going to make this Concordia Yawl, which is a really pretty boat. And I've made a drawing that I'm going to use to build it with. So this is the drawing that I made to make the Concordia Yawl, which I printed out from my printer, 8.5 by 11 sheets, and I've carefully taped it together so that it's all lined up correctly. I used, I used the drawing to cut out the boards, which are called lifts, and they form the shape of the hull, like this. There's the other side over there. You can't miss that one. I cut this curved part out on the inside of the board so that I will be able to later carve it deeper, but I left it nice and wide so that I know I still have enough wood to work with. I had to use my saber saw to cut all these boards out, which leaves kind of a slightly uneven edge, but that's okay. I have a way to deal with that, which I'll show. When I needed to transfer these lines onto the wood, I printed this out a, a previous time, and I cut with scissors right along this line where my finger is, and then I traced it onto the wood right here. And this is the, the critical accurate edge, as opposed to the opposite edge, which varies because I used a saber saw. I've marked all the boards with these orange lines. These are the, the uh, section lines from the drawing. Right here, and here, and here that go across all the boards. And that helps me line them up perfectly before I glue them. Again, I've got the most accurate cut where my finger is along that line which I cut from the wood I've got that facing towards the inside of the boat if you had a band saw or a any kind of saw that can cut a perfect square cut along here you won't have this problem but I only have that saber saw so that's why I need to have my accurate cut on the inside so I have the boards laid on the drawing like this along the shear line which goes across and that's so I can check the alignment of the boards along the shear. I use a square to check to make sure that the shear profile matches up and everything's lined up against the drawing like that which it almost does and it will when I'm finished. So now I think I have it all clamped together and lined up over the drawing. And then I'm going to use these little things to secure the corners so that while I clamp it together with glue, the boards won't slide around in the wet glue. I used Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue, which I've made many boats with. I never had a problem. You might think you wouldn't have to use epoxy or any kind of fancy glue, but this stuff never let me down. So I got all my little blocks in position, and each little board is snug up in that little corner there. I'm going to check all the way along to make sure they're all perfect. And then I'm going to take off the clamps and do the other side. And I used wooden pegs 
to secure the two middle pieces from sliding in the glue. When I put it to, when I put it together with the glue down the center line of the boat, which is right here, there'll be glue in there. That peg will go in that hole, and these two pieces won't slide around in the glue. You get the idea. Okay, so here it is, all glued up with lots of clamps, clamping it together. Uh, and one thing happened where it slipped a little bit right there. This part slid down during the gluing, but that's easily corrected. There's all kinds of ways of adjusting things when you're carving it. No big deal. Okay, and the next installment, we will start the carving process.